Okay, this is my explanation for why I think the block and the bullet go equal heights, whether center or off-center. And I'm going to use the example of nails into a board, uh, since I don't have a gun here at school. But if I hammer a nail into a board with the board unable to move, the energy of the hammer, almost all of it has to go into the nail and driving the nail into the board so it penetrates a certain depth. Now, if it's able to move when I hit it, then some of the energy goes into driving the nail, but a lot of the energy goes into moving the entire board. That means that the nail will end up less penetrated into the board or less deep. Now, if it's in the center when I hit it, it has to move the whole board. When it's off center, if I hit it, it penetrates even less because it doesn't move the entire board. It only moves one end or it moves it around the center of mass as well as across the table. So, my thinking is that if the bullet is fired into the center, because it has to lift the entire board, it's going to go deeper into the wood. Whereas if it hits off center, it's going to go less into the wood, and the energy that's not used up going as far into the wood is going to be the energy that's spinning it. So. Both of them have energy in, in causing the bullet to penetrate the wood, but this one has less energy in the penetration, and therefore it's going to have some energy left over for the rotation. But both of them go equally high.